A terrible problem that must be stopped. That's what some are calling the drug trade and crime in parts of Sussex County. Tonight, WBOC takes you to one of those suspected hotspots and we become part of the story. Good evening, I'm Paul Butler. And I'm Steve Hammond. Welcome to WBOC News at 6. You know, in recent months, we've been telling you an awful lot about the growing heroin problem here on Del Mar Valley. Yeah, and experts in Sussex County say the problem there is only getting worse. Now, here's one of the recent arrests. Police responded to the Chandler Heights apartment in Seaford and arrested 18-year-old James Feagans of Dagsboro in possession of some 104 bags of heroin. Now, this comes just days after a 16-year-old was arrested in the same development with 99 bags of heroin. Well, today our Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Koslov went to this neighborhood to learn more about the problem, and he learned some of it firsthand. Chandler Heights is a quiet enough looking community. Brick homes with well-kept grass looks like a lot of neighborhoods, but it's also the site of numerous drug arrests of the last year, including two just this week. Anti-drug advocate Dupree Johnson says there are places like this all over the county. Any place can be a hot spot. It could be it could be a well-do community tomorrow, and it could be a um, you know low-income community you know the next day. Wherever they choose to go, whatever they choose to set up, that is a hot spot. And the drug trade in places like this really does bring a level of danger to these communities. In fact, WBOC was just here for no more than 15 seconds when somebody threw something at our windshield, shattering it, showing once again the consequences of the drug trade. A problem that we here at WBOC unfortunately faced firsthand as police responded to the scene. There, they confirmed that this was a place with heavy drug activity, but certainly not the only one. In a statement, Lieutenant Glenn Van Fleet told us, quote, there are hotspots across the city and really there are hotspots across the state. Meanwhile, Johnson says the drug trade in places like Chandler Heights takes a grip on the entire community. And I'm sure that the uh, community members of this area um, who are really kind of afraid or actually benefiting from this kind of hot spot um, are not really um, saying much. They're not really doing uh, much, but they really want help. And so as the police search the scene, those responsible for damaging our car have long since dispersed. But Johnson says he has no doubt the drug trade here at Chandler Heights is sticking around. They'll be back here after you leave within the hour. Within the hour. A persistent problem here on Delmarva. In Sussex County, this is Evan Kozloff for WBOC News in Seaford. We did reach out to the main office for Chandler Heights Apartments to get their comments, but as of showtime, we have still not heard a response.